Hey, I'm here. You need in the press room. Can I get a, hey, MP, how was the game? You look really good out there. How are you feeling out there? Hey, how are you feeling? Also, you're needed in the press room. Okay, so we could just skip the small talk then. Yeah, follow me. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the situation. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen closely because I will not be repeating myself. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Obviously, they're gonna want to ask questions about how you played, so if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna want to call Whoa. on John Luck. Under Shh, if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna want to call on John Luck because his whole thing is access, so he's bound to lob you a softball or two. If Got you're it. feeling confident, you're gonna want to call on Nate White. The Nate man White. fans love to hate. His number one goal is to stir up controversy, so if you mess up even a little bit, he's gonna be all over that. Also, he's gonna have a couple Shep questions to throw your way, so if you wanna get into that, then he's your guy. The other major player on the beat is Candace Green. She's not here today, but she likes to get into the longer view of things, really get into the X's and O's, so if you wanna brag about your basketball IQ, she is your person to call on. Okay. All right, um, hey, is there uh, someone that you would choose first if you were me? Is there a conversation I should stay away from, you know? That is completely up to you. Yeah, yeah. What you say in that room is gonna go a long way in establishing your identity as a leader and your personal brand. Okay. And though I might have ideas about what you should say in a given situation, I can't tell you who to be. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you should go starting any giant PR nightmares, no, no, okay? No, no. But there is more than one way to skin the proverbial cat, if you follow me. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, any more advice you got? <laughs> Lots, mm. but you're needed inside, go. Nah. Okay. We're here. <laughs> <clears throat> we are indeed. All right, look, I just gave you a lot of information in a short amount of time. And what I want you to know is that what drew me to you as a potential employer was your grace under pressure. I've just always really respected the way that you handle yourself in the press, and I, you're I think you're gonna do a fantastic job in there. Wow, you uh, you really fought through that one. Um, but thank you, it's probably one of the nicest things you said to me. All right. You really need to get in there. They get cranky if they think they're gonna miss deadlines. I so. got you, I'm in there. Come on. Hey, everyone. All right, man, you up first right here. Congrats on your first NBA win, MP. Thanks, Nate. So, what would you say you struggled with the most out there? I mean, after your first NBA action, is there a specific part of your game you, you know you need to work on? I got an answer for you. It's really important for me to be the kind of teammate that, you know, really brings out the best in everyone I'm on the floor with. So even though I think I did an okay job there, in the long term, you know, I, I want to get way more in sync with everyone. You know, but that'll come and just take some more reps. So, I mean, do you feel like you got lucky out there given the, that you didn't raise the level of your teammates as much as uh, you would have liked to? Lucky. Did I get lucky out there? No, I did not get lucky out there. Like I said, we played well. We earned that win, but I'm a perfectionist. So I know we got a long ways from reaching our peak, and that's okay. You know, we got a long season and we're off to a great start. Okay, next question. John. There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you on draft day, but I did see quite a few people in the stands supporting you. Could you speak a little bit about that?
Community. Community is everything to me, so it's very important for me to have the fans on my side. You know, with that being said, it's only up to me to give them a reason to cheer, to smile, to have something to look forward to. You know, and with the season only just starting, you know, I'm not surprised that they're not fully on board yet. Okay, but is it fair to you to have to prove yourself like that? Is there any part of you that wishes you were perhaps given the benefit of the doubt? Uh, is it fair? I don't know. John, life ain't fair. <laughs> you know, my parents used to always tell me that when I felt bad for myself. Hmm. Wise words. Truly. You know, uh, but as far as, you know, getting the, the benefit of the doubt goes, I'm more comfortable being in a position where I gotta prove myself. Always have, always will. You know, that's just a natural part of sports. You know, first you gotta prove yourself to your teammates that you can be trusted to deliver. Then, if you do that and get results, the fans will follow, so I'm not really worried about it. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fans will love that quote, MP. Yeah, man. Hey, thanks for your time. Anytime, brother. No more questions? Cool. Yeah, take it easy. out there doing work. Yo! Great job on the dust. Mm. Okay, I will let him know. What up, Rick? You good? Hey, uh, yeah, just got off the phone with Othello Akpem's assistant, and, uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, that's not really his reputation. Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. Um, okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind, see what they want to talk about, and come back here and we'll talk about it. Bet. Hey, Olive. MP, how are you? Well, I can't complain. I'm a little nervous, but I can't complain. Uh, it looks like you're with Mr. Akpem today. Yeah. Uh, where is he again? Same floor as Mr. Novak. Okay. Uh, you got any advice for me? On talking to Mr. Akpem? Yeah, well, you, you... You've been working here for some time, you know? I don't really know him like that. Um, but you're a smart guy. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna be fine. How do you know I'm a smart guy, though? <laughs> I can read people, and you're smart. Cool, thank you, but, uh, okay. So, what number am I thinking of right now? I said I could read people. I'm not psychic. I, it's it's <laughs> kind of the same difference, a little bit. Yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> Aren't you gonna be late for your meeting? Yeah, I probably will be. Um... Same elevator as usual? Yes, they haven't moved. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, well, it's nice chatting with you. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck. Hey, UD, why well, I feel like your front desk lady kind of kind of like your character, the character for real? 
Like that's how when you be talking to the front, the front um office, and uh, that lady with the glasses. I think I low key she kind of do dig you all crazy for real. Come on in, take a seat. What's up, MP? Oh, Graves, <laughs> it's the Ock Pim. What I tell you about that? Othello, please. I mean, my bad, you got it. So, about Shep. Oh, he too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we take for picking you over him, but that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work, on and off the court, so whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talk uh, to Freddie. Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative, you're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Yeah, I, I gotta explain more crazy. Like I said, I gotta watch how I talk to uh, like real. Because I'm recording all crazy. Flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to Bro, focus on your craft. You get where you want, I'm gonna just beat you out all crazy. Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you want to want to I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Freddie gives you a hard time. Whatever. My door is always open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ockpen. Oh, Bella. Nah, I don't hear you, Major. Thank me about putting in the work. So you must be working with your new mic then, huh? See you, Coach. I told you, if you need a mic, boy, I got you. Nope. Cause mine, I need, I need one of the audio. Audio joints, but like I can actually split uh, the audio. Good, but yeah. like if I hear music, I, yeah. I can just erase yeah, that. Later, man. But yeah. All right, have a great one. Yo, you want me to come back? No, 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 you good, you good. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about your meeting with Othello. Hey, <sighs> to be honest with you, man, I'm, I'm a little confused. Come on, <laughs> yeah, if I could do I that, oh yeah, that'd be easy. All I gotta so do you is know something? Man, I'm mute the music in the background so and like how y'all talk. And one ear, I got but yeah, boy, I'd be good. I have Othello basically forbidding me to talk to Freddie. Oh, he forbid you? Or, Not or exactly, I can just buy the copyright music, but I don't play doing that. I'm going to lie to you. I mean, the thing is, you know, when you're over the fans, I'm all for it. It is my thing. It's a great idea. It's well-researched. But, Rick, man, if it's me stepping on people's toes, I'm not for it. Like, I don't want to make the coaching staff angry. That's not going to happen. All right? So what's the plan, man? <laughs> well, first of all, relax. All right, everything's fine, man. It's just a little palace entry. That's palace all. Palace entry. All right, sure. Look, your president of basketball ops, Phil Boyer, he's feeling the heat right now. He underestimated the PR hit that he would take by drafting you while Shep is still on the board. And optics, for better or worse, are very important for a man in his position. Yeah, I mean, he's got a career to consider, so I get it. Okay, so if you take this whole thing seriously, it'll do a great deal of getting you ahead. Mm, okay. Well, like I said, I, I'm down for whatever. Just say the word. All right, that's good, that's good. But meanwhile, you still got Othello Akpem thinking that Freddie's some existential threat. A threat? Yeah. Yo, bro, what is he, like, angling for his job? Dude is in marketing, man. I don't know. Stranger things have happened, man. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Dude seemed pretty straightforward to me. I mean, that was my read, too, but, I mean, that don't mean Othello's not worried. Look, the way he sees it, Phil's legacy is tied to you, which means that Freddie's got his ear because you come with a lot of media baggage. Okay, again, that part makes sense. Okay, plus you got the whole data-driven angle. You gotta remember, Othello's old school, like a real yeah. scouts and chalkboards type. Yeah. Thinks that anybody with a computer is trying to push him out the lead. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so all I'm saying is you just got to you gotta walk a real fine line here, man. I mean, goes without saying, you have to perform. Yo, the, the funny thing is, that does not seem to be the focus right now <laughs> at all. Like, I mean, you want the money, right? Hey, hey. Then this all comes with it. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I just think it's funny, man. <laughs> Look, all this means is that we got to be delicate, all right? So instead of launching this, you know, full-on PR blitz, probably on the lines of what Freddie would want, Let's dip our toes in this whole plan to win over the fans. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You want slow play. Slow play, oh, exactly. All right. It's not like we're going to do nothing. We'll just ease into it. Keep Othello and Freddie happy, which keeps Phil happy. Yeah, okay. Which makes us one big, happy, slightly dysfunctional family. Okay, okay, okay. I can... It's all making sense now. Um, so when we start, man. Well, Neela and Ashley are running point on this, so I'm sure they'll hit you up when they got something to say. Yo, let them know whenever, wherever, it don't matter. I'm there, I'm your guy. Okay, Let's okay, I get it. Look, <laughs> in the meantime, you just focus on ball, all right? Hit the goals that Othello and Coach G gave you. 
Win some games, maybe, and we're going to be golden. Win some games? I'm just saying. Hey, that ain't no issue. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be. All right, then. <laughs> All right, get out there, man. So where you so where you want to start to play park though, man? Yeah, I don't know about that. You don't know about that? Oh, so like you so so, 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 so you want to wait until you hit, get like a higher overall? No, okay. All that time for no three. I play park in the up three. A dependent. I play with old kids and uh, probably get. Yeah. <laughs> he said the old kid. I'm done. <laughs> That's right. Yo, hey yo, when you play Garuma, right? Do you be hearing these fans in the background that be talking mad stuff? But yeah, I, I still got a lot of fans out there for you. But they don't talk much to me. They be like, yeah, you can't buy me. Man, they, man, these fools be talking mad smack. I'm like, see, in real life, they do be doing that too. <laughs> well, Graham, it's still early in the season, but when you're on a team, do you have a good sense of where you stand in the league at this point? Well, it's hard to say. Like I said, I will put on 12 minutes, but I don't, I got time to, to be playing those here long for the minutes. 76ers. Tucker's checked in for Thibel, and Harris is subbed in for Maxie. Uh, <laughs> Mm. Who's the goat? Wait, wait. There wait. Hey, you gotta stop passing these retarded fans. You can't do that no more. You did not work? I stupid. Well, Teddy for that put me in the game. It's a five point game. Like Holiday passes to oh, okay. Amanda Kumpo. Back to Holiday. Gotta be upgraded, I, know it's not. I know, I didn't put nothing on my playmaking. <laughs> Kicks it out to Anada Kumpo. Yeah, he really can't be there, bro. Five All on the clock. Why the guy Giannis on here moving slow? I don't like that. Giannis, don't like that. Giannis did not move slow like this at all. What the fuck you play? Huh? What the fuck you play? I'm playing this. I shouldn't go out. Difficult. This was a whole one. Hold up. Say that again. Difficult. I'll start pretty hard too though, but like I said, I play it so much, it's like I'm used to it. But sometimes I do play Hall of Fame here and there, but I don't play play it play other times though. Come on, Yanni, take it forever. Shoot the ball. You gonna hate the Celtics. MVP. Celtics, why? Thanks, B.A. I did forget that one too, but the Greek freak is just the second player ever to win those four awards. The first, of course, MJ. It just tells you Giannis is already an all-time And I lost the ball. Come on, ref. A minute 37 left in the first quarter of the game. Get vicious. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam. I ain't gonna lie, it's like Giannis really want to take over. He can actually take over, for real. We've but got then, you got people, left people, the people, people that want double team. Pass to Harris. That one falls. Great assist by Dragic. The defensive effort, but I think it was great for his cheating. overall development. Big of course, it helps winning a title in school. Outside Milton. Harris finds Harold. Harold, a screen on Allen. Milton with it, and Lopez picks him up. Here's Harold. Again, Philadelphia. Harold loves when he gets to mix it up on the inside and he fights through the D that time. So I gotta get a block. I the still oh, oh, wow. Giannis cheating. He's banging on people for no reason. 
best dunks of the year. So good with the ball off the bounce. Goran Dragic. I'm like, I'm looking like, yo, what are these short, little short midget people for on this game? Huh? No, it's not racist. Look, mine, all I see was skinny, small people. I'm like, yo, who are these people? Hey, look, I'm not racist. <laughs> Hey, listen, I love all type of people. Even though, even though I like you too, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. He's not going to do it. Hold up, dude. Hold up. He's checked in for Connaughton, and it's Bembry in for Holiday. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. You know, some have said those old-school power forwards, guys like Charles right, Oakley, back, they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position, and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. Great skill level in the game right now. No question. There's 10 seconds left in the second period. And down it goes. Two Bro, points. Yo. Come on, y'all. Like, you, you doing my man Every dirty right now. steps out there. You got to feel like you got a good chance to win. Lopez with the steal. Joel Embiid. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Philadelphia. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And as we welcome you to the studio, we call your attention to the top performers for each team in the first half. These guys are leading their way offensively. It's hard work doing all that scoring. Wouldn't you agree with that, Shaq? Uh, not for me, it wasn't. Piece of cake or barbecue chicken, whichever you prefer. Oh, both at the same time. I'm hungry. <laughs> now back to our game. Pretty impressive first half for the 76ers. You look at the play of their bench. This second unit is doing exactly what the coach is looking for. It's a luxury to have this kind of support. I mean, I know we talk about team depth all the time, but that's been the difference tonight. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. It's been a clinic out there by Yacht. Well, why are we trying to put me out? Get in there and take care of business, MP. They always Got want this. me, like, catching back up. Like, dude, y'all better pay some defense, man. I got... Time is it, man. I'm about to see Rich. like, we don't want to eat all turds for real. Taking a look at the Bucks. Holiday and Allen are at guard form. Brooke Lopez is out there with Serge Ibaka. And it's Ingles in at the three, a small forward. And Harden, a former league MVP, three time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, BA. I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. The three, here's Harris. They get the rebound. Oh, and there. Yeah, I could have dreamed that on the. I really missed it. <laughs> Dude, you're so level of pride. 
How you know that? How you know that if I'm a, a, a playing or not? They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. The 76ers making a switch here. Dragic just checked in. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Holiday from long range. The shot that time, not on target. Now cool. the 76ers take it the other way. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' Oh, good feel. Great. Uh, I missed. What the? Yo, the bar came up so fast, man. Come on, dude. The Bucks trail. <laughs> 52 Bro. seconds left in the third quarter. Set up by Harris. Harris has got his third assist of the night. The Bucks shooting around 45% since the break. Pass to Ibaka. Harrell against Lopez. Ingles from outside. Drains the triple. Ingles gotten his second bucket of the game. Fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Harris with it. Three pointer. The Why can't he let go too early? What is this dude? Oh, Harris with the block. Joel Embiid. He's feeling it. To But why are we losing? Yo, come on. Seven sisters do suck. Like, what is this, man? To Embiid. And the 76ers lead by one. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. And there's the basket and the whistle. <laughs> she said, she said, that's a foul on the contact sport. See, see, but we about to lose. I have a feeling we about to lose. All game. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing Gotta get giveaways free throws. and getting yeah. scores on the other end. Embiid. And it's a three-point Philadelphia lead. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer. That vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Don't let him score. Come on. Good defense. He's off on that one. Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. Connaughton against Harris. And he banks in the layup. Harris has got 21. Though he does have a scorer's mindset, Harden's vision and experience playing alongside some of the best talent Good in the field. league have made Come on, him an awesome playmaker. To the inside, Harris. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Check in with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He was pumping them up, trying to rally them, saying, quote, this game is ours. Don't back off now. Force mistakes with our defense. Work quickly at the offensive end and just keep attacking. Looking for a late first, well, guys. Why you Thank you for that, Allie. And this is a... Forty-one seconds left in the final quarter, and the Bucks making a change here. Lopez has checked in, and so they choose to intentionally foul. Forty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Anna Kupo knocks it away. When you get down on the block, Giannis is going to use that length defensively and get his hands all over any shot attempt. And that's an So he gets them both, and it's a seven point game. Yeah, the lead.
Also, also now they want to be nice to me. Oh, that's funny. Holiday from long range. Joel Embiid with the board. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A yeah, huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. The three, here's Harris. Off on that one. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. And we'll see you next time. I got A minus, okay. Not too bad. Stop recording.